Lord Kelvin, 150 years ago, really defined science well. He said, all science is numbers. Now, when you watch television or read the news media and so on, you find that science today is, has political notions to it, like the consensus of scientists says this. Let me assure you, that is a political notion. That's not a scientific notion. Science are numbers that stand by themselves. So, for example, you might have an assertion that is made about the climate system or something about the world in general, and it needs to be stated in such a way that it can be falsified. If it can't be falsified or stated in a way that can be falsified, it's not science. In other words, you make a claim or an assertion and someone should be able to say, okay, I can test that assertion and see if it's true or false. An example, very um, emotionally charged example, I should say, is polar bears. We are told polar bears are near extinction. Our government might set them up as endangered species here before too long because of the political and emotional appeal uh, surrounding polar bears. Well, what is science? Science is numbers. And so we ought to just count the polar bears. If you go back 40 years, you will find that there were about six to 10,000 polar bears. And they were going extinct because of two things, snowmobiles and high-powered rifles. That gave the Eskimos and other big game hunters a very easy way to track and hunt and kill polar bears. So they were becoming extinct. But uh, people got together and there were uh, two laws passed in 1972 and 1974 to preserve marine mammals. And uh, that established the quota system for polar bears. Today, rather than six to 10,000 polar bears, there are over 24,000 polar bears. Not only that, but the science that the Canadian government especially adopts and uses is that, that they are allowed, the, the people in the Canadian Arctic are allowed to kill 800 polar bears a year because that keeps the population healthy and growing. So, all science is numbers. If you're worried about polar bears, first of all, count them, and you will find their numbers are really uh, growing quite well and the populations are quite healthy. That goes to many aspects of the climate debate. Let's look at all of these assertions very carefully, tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, and so on, and we find out that everything you see in the climate system happening today, an iceberg breaking off or a storm, has already happened in the past. And so you cannot make the claim and prove it that people are causing the events you see today because they've happened before.